Welcome back. Well, the U.S. Supreme Court made a major ruling on cases pending against those charged in the January 6th Capitol riot. The high court decided the government went too far by bringing obstruction charges against hundreds of rioters. Defense attorneys say the law was specifically meant to prevent tampering with evidence before a trial or investigation, not an election certification. Well, today's decision could also have big implications for former President Donald Trump. He was charged with violating the same obstruction law, but for different reasons than the rioters. Emory Law Professor John Acevedo says even if Trump is granted immunity, he could still face charges here in Georgia. So the immunity decision is interesting. The court usually does not go into July. So something seems to be going on, whether that's a lack of decision or grounding to hold it on, uh, it really could have a major impact. If he is granted the immunity requested, the full immunity, it would end all the federal trials, but wouldn't affect the Georgia case here. Again, that's state law. The Supreme Court is expected to rule on former President Trump's immunity case on Monday.